Anybody that knows me knows I like three things more than anything else in the whole wide world. Great craft beer, excellent music, and delicious food. And today, I'm at a place for all three. Tap at Humboldt Beer Depot. I'm with Scott, the owner at Tap. If I didn't know anything about this place, how would you describe it to me? All right, Tap is a craft beer bar. I mean, we specialize in craft beer. You won't find any of your basic stuff here. We got a lot of uh, high quality, tasty beers here. Also, big music scene, so you come to Tap, you can drink your craft beer, you can listen to some good bands. Ostrich Hat, for instance, awesome band, so. Well, thank you very much. That's what Tap's about, music and beer, and some good food. In the last few years, the craft beer bar craze has been steadily growing, and Scott realized that his hometown of Hazleton was lacking in such an establishment. So, as a craft beer lover, he knew there was a void to be filled. You know, pretty much in the area, you see the same old, same old, you know. It's a uh, shot of whiskey, pint of pale American lager, you know. We figured we'd try to expand everybody in the Hazelton area and surrounding areas, palates, and it seems to be working out pretty well so far. So, we've been open since December 16th, and I'm going to say we've probably been through about 90 barrels, maybe 70 of which were half barrels, which is a decent amount of beer. I would try to keep some IPAs up, some Imperial Stouts. If you aren't familiar, IPA is really hoppy beer, Imperial Stout's malty, dark. So we have 20 rotating taps, all right, which means we rotate them out every time something goes off, we put something new on. We try to keep a set amount of Imperial Stouts, a set amount of IPAs, a set amount of farmhouse ales. We also have five dedicated taps, Victory Prima Pills, Highwater Heffa Wise, and Bell's Two Hearted, Founders All the IPA, and Left Hand Sawtooth, which are all lighter options for people that aren't used to what we have in rotation. We do have two cask engines. Lightly carbonated, served warmer, 55 degrees. Uh, that's how they serve their beers, most of their beers in England. So we do have some pretty obscure stuff that's fairly new to the Hazelton area. I'm sure a lot of people have had this stuff, a lot of people haven't, so. And the discovery of new craft beers really hits home with the patrons. Why, why, why drink the basics when you got phenomenal stuff out there? What are you drinking today? Uh, I've got the Dogfish 120 minute now. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's one of the better beers I've had and the, the good thing about the tap here is there's, there's a ton of, ton of selection and it's, it's always changing, you know, so you get to try everything out there from, from the craft beer world. And if you're a domestic beer drinker who hasn't really dipped their toes into the craft beer world, Scott has some advice for you. If I got somebody that's used to drinking Miller Lite, Coors Light, I usually turn the Prima Pills, right? Prima Pills would be the... Uh, lager that your grandparents were drinking if you have German blood in you, that'd be the Pilsner they were drinking in Germany. So I mean that's our go-to. Somebody drinks Miller Coors, Prima Pils is naturally what we send them to. Since this is a craft beer bar, one thing you do is flights for people to try different beers to see what they like instead of just getting you know one big whole pint. If they don't like it, you know, they're stuck with a whole pint. So we offer four or five ounce beers for eight dollars. Basically it comes on a little paddle, kind of like what the principal used to hit you with in elementary school, right? Uh, you can get any beer you want. I mean, some we can't put on the flights because some of them are limited. Some of them cost for a five ounce as much as the flight costs. But um, this is a good way to introduce yourself to what you like, figure out what you like. Sampling some great craft beers at Tap is not something you want to do on an empty stomach. So when you get hungry, Tap has you covered. Right now we're offering paninis. We have about 10 different panini sandwiches, all created within the Tap. Employee suggestions, my training, my thoughts. Good sandwiches, definitely good sandwiches. So. Every day there's something going on at TAP. Scott makes sure it's always a little different, like their game night. Tuesday nights we try to do a group game of Cards Against Humanity. Again, it's uh, pretty much R-rated, so yeah, I wouldn't bring your kids for Card Against Humanity night, but it's a fun time. Tuesday, 8 to 11, you just come drink with us at the TAP. Good people, good beer, good music, you won't be disappointed. I agree with him. Yeah. <laughs>